Shalom. I want to start off this lesson by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, or Kodash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders, our great Mr. Naruel, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad. This is your brother Yohanathan coming through with another lesson. Uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, uh, Lord willing, this video is edifying. And um, this lesson uh, won't be, Lord willing, it's not too long, it's a rather a short video, but I just wanted to get into um, uh, being carnal, uh, you know, having a, a, a carnal mentality. You know, a lot of our people uh, they carnally, you know, you know, most of them think, you know, live, uh, living by the sword, you know, um, thinking that, you know, weapons or other devices can protect them. You know, most of our people, um, you know, most of our people, um, especially, you know, ones that live, you know, in the tribes that live in, um, bad, uh, you know, uh, bad communities or they live in uh, you could say the hood section eight the projects you know they you know their mentality is they need to keep their gun on them uh their mentality is um you know like i said they 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 live carnally even you got you know some you know that are in the truth and they think the same way you know and and, and with that is you you don't really have faith or you don't put your trust in the most high your how about some y'all shot because you know we know you get a um a scripture It's in scripture of uh, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 24. It is um it is uh Proverbs uh 20 verse 24, and it reads, Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You know what that means said? You know, the uh you know the Lord is in control of everything. You know, if it's in your story, if it's in your lot for, for you to perish. That day, that second, that hour, then you know that was the Lord. Um, you know, so you know I, I understand. You know some, you know some brothers might be. Um, you know some brothers might be, you know living, and you know some conditions, and that's all they know. But you know when you come into this walk, when you come in to the truth, you know you need to know that. You know, even though, you know, no, uh, you know, we got our own people that goes back to the curses, you know, our own people slain each other. But you need to know that, you know, you having a gun with you 24 seven, is it going to save you? We know that having a gun or, you know, what's, what's, whichever the case may be, you know, that's not going to save you, you know, because we know, you know, the Lord is in control of everything. If it's in your story. For you to perish if it's in your store for whatever to happen you know that's the lord that's not you know we know the lord is in control of everything the lord you know is in control so if that's your store then that's your store but um you know having a gun isn't gonna you know do anything for you you know i'm not saying that you can't have a gun but you're not supposed to put your trust upon the gun you know in the scripture it tells us that you know we're supposed to put you know our trust you know, we're supposed to put our trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. We're supposed to put our trust in Him. We're supposed to put our faith in Him. We're not supposed to put our faith or our trust in, in carnal things. You know, that that that's not even meaning. Um, you know, even though I start this lesson by saying guns, but you're not supposed to put your trust in man. You're not supposed to put your trust in another brother. You're not supposed to. You know, even though we do trust the brothers, you know, we do. But you know we we supposed to put all our trust on Yahweh Shemiah. So I'm not supposed to put our trust 
in our, you know, in, in our ease. You know, we're supposed to put our trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. It's another um, scripture. This is a Proverbs chapter five, verse twenty-one. For the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. You know, again, telling that you know the Lord is, you know, the Lord is in control of everything. The Lord watches everything. The Lord, you know, he, the Lord knows. You know what's gonna happen so you know you walking around with your pistol with a couple bullet or bullets in it you know if, if, if that's in your lot if that's in your store for you to you know perish then that's what's gonna happen you know so we're not supposed to put our trust in, in, in these things you know you and let's let, let's look um let's look at examples let's look at you know these rappers you know especially you know these new coming even old rappers it's or, or gangsters, you know, they think they, you know, they in their mind facade, they they think they somebody, they got all these guns, and then they die, you know, because you know the the Lord took them, you know, for you know they were being wicked, so the Lord took them. It don't matter how, you know, it don't matter how, you know, how many guns you have. It doesn't matter how many people you have with you. If the Lord wants you, you know, then you know the Lord is gonna get you because the Lord is in control. You know, look at King Vaughn. You know, King Vaughn, you know, put it on the scene. He was, you know, this somebody. You know, he was a hitter. He was this, he was that. And look what happened to him. You know, like we was talking in camp that um, King Vaughn's manager said that he had a, you know, a spirit, a spirit on him, you know, because the Lord was delivering, you know, the Lord, um, the Lord was ready, you know, to deliver him to, to him. If I'm, I'm phrasing it right, but you know that was his that was his lot. He was you know supposed to die. There's no accidents. There's no accidents when it comes you know to the Lord. You know the Lord does everything you know accordingly. In the scripture it says you know our Lord is not an author of confusion. Um, God. Um, thought I had a scripture to back it up. Uh, Shalakim. I thought I had a scripture to um. Or what was it first? I think it was first Samuel. First Samuel. Shalom, give me um Shalom, give me a second. Bubble for show. I wanted to get this uh precept. Is it two and seven? Okay, um, this is uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. The Lord kill it, he make it alive, he bring it down to the grave, and bring it up. You know, so this precept, this, show, this tells you that, you know, this is, you know, the Lord doing these things. You know, the Lord kills. You know, I know in church, it, 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 there's, you know, um, you know, what's being said that, you know, the most high is all about love, you know? With that being so, the, the Lord is all about judgment too. The Lord is all about death because, you know, it's a lot of, you know, wicked, it's a lot of wicked people, you know, as far as Israelites. But with that being said, nevertheless, that's just to show you that, you know, that's the Lord that does these things, you know? Even when it comes to, even when it comes to, you know, um, you know, young younger children, older children, you know, that's the Lord doing, you know, because people are living out their judgments to their past life or people are, are, are paying, you know, for, for what they did. You know, the most high is, you know, the number one. He's he's the biggest debt collector because, you know, a lot of our people, you know, a lot of our people, you know, think that, you know, they could do wickedness. They could do this. They could do that. And the Lord and the Lord is not going to come to collect, you know, 
The Lord is going to collect. If you, you know, you're going off, you're being wicked, the Lord is going to collect. He's going to come, you know, for, for what it is because, you know, you know, we're supposed to abide by, um, we, we, we are supposed to abide by rules. And if, if we're not abiding by these rules, then what you think is going to happen? Judgment, you know, just like, uh, you know, what the curse is, you know, the, the Lord says, you know, the Lord said we were going to go into slavery and look what happened. But nevertheless, um, I got one more precept. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he and there is no god with me i kill and i make alive i wound and i heal neither there is any that can deliver out of my hand so you know with that being said you know that that just shows you that you know there is no accident you know and and, and you know everything is spiritual you know in our flesh we might be thinking you know when somebody passed or is somebody you know even with King Vaughn. When King Vaughn passed, you got all these people know why he died. Um, he didn't deserve to die. He, he was so talented. That's not, a, you know, the Lord didn't think so. Because if if that was so, he would still be here. But, you know, it, it, it reads, it says that um, um, there is so often. And it reads, um, neither there is any that can deliver out of my hand you know so when it's your time to go it's your time to go there you know there there is no accidents so you know with that being said you know you being carnal you know you you know buying all these guns you know you thinking that your gun is going to save you you know you need to get out that mindset because if it's your time to go it's your time to go you know there there, there is you know, no one can deliver. <laughs> no one can deliver. <laughs> and I, I, I'm not trying to laugh, but, you know, it's just, you know, the scriptures are, you know, the scriptures are so clear and in and, and vain. Um, you know, um, when you, you know, you know, if the Lord does put the spirit on you to receive and understand the scriptures, then you understand, you know, back in the world, when things happen or family members pass. Or, or or things happen, you would just think like, damn. You would just think like, wow. You you know you would just um you would just think um you know you 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 would think carnally. You would think, why God? Why would you do this? But you know that that's that just to show you that um you know it's the Lord that kills. You know it's not no accident. And and I was thinking about this through the Spirit. You know it's a it, it's it's an artist. Rapper named 50 Cent. 50 Cent was shot nine times. You know, you got, you got, um, you got some people get shot one time and they die. So it's either that 50 Cent, you know, <laughs> 50 Cent might be part of that number, or the Lord is is saving him for for a judgment. You know, a, a special judgment because. You know, him being shot nine times is something that's not, you know, that's not really, you know, seen. You know, I'm pretty sure those people that try to set up 50 Cent and try to kill him, you know, thought they killed him. But you see, you know, it was not his time to go. So when it's your time to go, you know, you, you will perish, you will die. But if it's not your time to go, it's not your time to go. You know, in myself speaking first, you know, speaking of myself first, you know, it was many, you know, I've been in a couple accidents you know and, and this is horrible but you know i'm being truthful one it was one time i was you know on the road late night driving on on the um on the highway on a um turnpike up on the turnpike it was the turnpike maybe a year ago before i came in this walk um i fell asleep on the road you know i don't know how long i fell asleep but i fell asleep then i woke up and nothing was wrong with the car and nothing was wrong with me so you know that just to show you that you know it, it could have been some somebody else and that could have been different but like i said you know things are spiritual 
You know, that's just to show you maybe that wasn't my time to go. You know, now I'm in this walk. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, your gun will save you. Let me read this again. Or Deuteronomy chapter um 32, verse 39. See now that I, oh, uh, Shalaka, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. And there, uh, Shalakim, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You know, so that with that being said, you know, that that, that kind of um that kind of sums up, you know, the lesson I wanted to bring out. Because, you know, you see within our people, our people are, are you know, our people put their trust and they put they put their faith and their trust in in a weapon, you know. Rather than, you know, putting, you know, the trust up in the Lord. You know, so you know, if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. And, and and that's the Lord. It's not, you know, it's not Ray Ray from you know down the block. You know, the Lord, you know, put that spirit on them. But it's it, it, every um every, um Sherlock. But you know, in all, it's the Lord doing that. You know, I'm, you know, you kind of think you got the word, but it doesn't come out. But you know, that's the lesson I just wanted to bring out. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying. You know, I didn't want it to. You know, go too long, but you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. Um, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rahul Kadash. Want to give double honors and to our apostles and our elders of great minister and Ruel and peace, blessing, and salutation to the elect scattered abroad. It's your brother, you want it done. Lord willing, I come back with another video. Shalom.